आज हम बैठे हैं रेड फोर्ट की दीवारों पे। अब आप कहेंगे कि सर ये किसी भी मायने से लाल किला तो नहीं नजर आता आपने बिल्कुल सही पहचाना आई एम सिटिंग ऑन द रोइंग ऑफ लाल कोट विच इफ ट्रांसलेटेड इन टू इंग्लिश वुड बिकम द रेड फोर्ट आज हम साथ में सफर तय करेंगे फ्रॉम लाल कोट टू लाल किला हेलो ऑफिकिंस मैं हूं मुकेश पारिक आपका इतिहास का अध्यापक और आज हम पढ़ेंगे अबाउट द दिल्ली सुल्तान दिल्ली जिसे सबसे पहली बार अपनी राजधानी के तौर पे स्थापित किया था अनंगपाल तोमर ने अनंगपाल तोमर ने निर्माण करवाया लाल कोट का यानी कि द ओरिजिनल रेड फोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया लाल कोट के रोइंस अभी फिलहाल मेहरौली साउथ दिल्ली के पास है मेहरौली इज एक्चुअली द ओल्डेस्ट लिविंग एरिया ऑफ डेली जी हाँ चांदनी चौक और पुरानी दिल्ली से भी ज्यादा पुराना है मेहरौली तोमरों के बाद में दिल्ली पे शासन किया चौहानों ने जिनके सबसे फेमस रूलर थे पृथ्वीराज चौहान पृथ्वीराज चौहान ने एक मजबूत साम्राज्य की स्थापना की और उन्हें उपाधि दी गई राजाधिराज यानी कि द किंग ऑफ द किंग्स बट ही वॉज गोइंग टू बी द लास्ट हिंदू रूलर ऑफ इंडिया इन द ईयर इलेवन मोहम्मद घोरी attacked prithviraj chauhan and they fought the first battle of the reign in this battle prithviraj chauhan became victorious and forced the enemy forces to flee however prithviraj chauhan did not pursue the enemy and let them escape this military nonchalance cost not just prithviraj chauhan but the entire country of india in the year 1192 mohammad ghori returned stronger than ever and defeated prithviraj chauhan in the second battle of the reign this laid the foundation of the islamic rule in india which lasted for more than 700 years and flourished by leaps and bounds during the mughal empire mohammad ghori after raiding india chose one of his slave qutbuddin aibak as the general for the newly conquered territory eventually qutbuddin aibak declared himself as independent and thus the mamluk or the slave dynasty began its rule qutbuddin aibak had in fact started the construction of qutb minar very close to the same lal kot which was now renamed as delhi ka kila after qutbuddin aibak iltutmish became the sultan of delhi by now he had already married the daughter of qutbuddin aibak and was thus the son in law of qutbuddin aibak iltutmish established the delhi sultanate and chose razia sultana as his successor on the throne of delhi razia sultana was a very very able leader but turkish nobles were not okay with having a woman as their emperor thus they started plotting against razia sultana and they were successful in dethroning her so razia sultana's stint as the sultan of delhi lasted only for about 4 years eventually after some years another slave of iltutmish ghiasuddin balban became the emperor of the delhi sultanate तो अगर हम ऑब्जर्व करें तो इस सल्तनत का नाम स्लेव डिनेस्टी बिल्कुल सही है बिकॉज मोहम्मद घोरी के स्लेव कुतुबुद्दीन ऐबक सुल्तान बनते हैं कुतुबुद्दीन ऐबक के स्लेव इलतुतमिश सुल्तान बनते हैं और थोड़े समय बाद इलतुतमिश के ए स्लेव गयासुद्दीन बलबन वहां के सुल्तान बनते हैं आफ्टर द फॉल ऑफ मामलूक डिनेस्टी जलालुद्दीन खिलजी कैप्चर द थ्रोन ऑफ डेली एंड एस्टैब्लिश द खलजी और द खिलजी डायनेस्टी After becoming the Sultan of Delhi, Jalaluddin Khilji became very mild and kind-hearted. This was resented by his nephew Alauddin Khilji, who eventually killed Jalaluddin Khilji and became the emperor of the Delhi Sultanate. Alauddin Khilji was a very very ambitious and an aggressive man. He started expanding the territories of the Khilji dynasty. He was also very successful in containing the Mongol attacks during his reign of the Delhi Empire. During one of his raids in Gujarat, he captured a eunuch slave Malik Kafur. Malik Kafur quickly rose through the ranks and became the chief counselor of Alauddin Khilji. After the death of Alauddin Khilji, Malik Kafur made 
Alauddin Khilji's son Shahabuddin as a puppet sultan and started using his influence to control the throne of Delhi. Taking advantage of lack of strong leadership on the throne of Delhi, Ghazi Malik or Gyatuddin Tughlaq took advantage and established the Tughlaq dynasty. He was succeeded by his son Muhammad bin Tughlaq. Muhammad bin Tughlaq was a man of great military ambitions and he was successful in expanding the Tughlaq dynasty across almost the entire Indian subcontinent. The Delhi Sultanate in fact reached its zenith under the rule of Muhammad bin Tughlaq. He is also remembered as the wise fool. Muhammad bin Tughlaq actually had some fantastic ideas. They were very futuristic. But the faulty implementation made such ideas fail more often than not. Hum in ideas ke baare mein apne in class lecture mein vistar se padhenge. The last ruler of Tughlaq dynasty was so scared of Amir Taimur of Samarkand that when he heard Amir Taimur was going to raid Delhi, he fled from Delhi. Amir Taimur was the incarnation of death. The havoc that he wreaked on Delhi demolished the once beautiful city of Delhi. Historians believe that it took Delhi more than 100 years to recover from it. After looting and plundering Delhi, Amir Taimur returned to Samarkand and appointed Khizar Khan as his general. Khizar Khan was a loyal slave and in spite of being the founder of the Sayyid dynasty in Delhi, he never took the title of Sultan. The fourth and the last ruler of the Sayyid dynasty, Alam Shah, was really scared of the general of Lahore and Siri Hind, Bahlol Lodi, and he practically abdicated his throne in favor of Bahlol Lodi. Bahlol Lodi took advantage of this situation and established the Lodhi dynasty. The Lodhi dynasty had a long rule from 1451 to about 1526, where the last ruler of the Lodhi dynasty, Ibrahim Lodi, fought the first battle of Panipat against Babur. In this battle, Babur was victorious and thereby Delhi Sultanate came to an end. Iske baad, Hindustan mein shuruwaat hoti hai Mughalia Samrajji ki. Aise hi bohut saare sultano ke baare mein hum detail mein padhenge apne in-class lecture mein. Till then, padhte rahiye, aage badhte rahiye. Bye-bye.